I'm currently uh, rebuilding this BSA A65 engine and uh, it's from a late oil in frame model. Uh, we've had the, uh, the crankshaft, actually the big ends are on standard size still and uh, they just needed a polish but the uh, tiny side journal on the crank was quite badly worn and the end of the crank was chewed so we've had that reground to minus 20 and I've put a new uh, time inside bush in there which is uh, matched to the crank once press fitted into the engine um, so I'm happy with all that and I've just been setting up now the end float permissible end float on the crank is anything from one and a half to three thousandths of an inch which isn't a very large window but I've got this magnetic stand with a dial gauge on it with a end of it on the uh, end of the crankshaft there and I've got the other end of the crank I've got this piece of wood and a screwdriver to lever up against the end of the crank and hopefully you see this now this clock is in thousandths of an inch so 0 to 5 is five thousandths of an inch I'm gonna get hold of that screwdriver there and lever on it And um, we're just, just on three thousandths of an inch, maybe a whisker under. So we're allowed one and a half to three thousandths of an inch. So I'm very happy with that. And if I leave it harder, you can see the whole lot is wiggling about. So I'm putting a good bit of weight on there. And if I pull the screwdriver out, doesn't go below zero so that's it no more than three thousandths of an inch there so I'm happy with that the end float set up perfectly and uh, I've got the crank cases clamped securely I've got two of these big G cramps on them and I've got that nut in there on and done up tightly so that'll pretty much simulate when the crank cases are bolted up tightly I would think so the next thing is to do just that bolt the bottom end up and uh, I can continue with the reassembly of the engine and get it back in the frame but uh, that end float isn't going to cause any problems that's right within spec so I'm happy with that